just by reporting. So that was one experience which I thought I'll share. And coming to the new trends in uh, in cyber security, obviously we have been there are many ways cyber attack can happen. And phishing uh, is one of the major uh, has always been remained one of the major uh, source of uh, breach, data breaches. But I think uh, when we look at now the current trend, it can be uh, one is that post pandemic the world has changed. So remote working has always been uh, is now become a new norm. Hybrid working we will say. So how do you log into a secure network? It can be a public Wi-Fi or a, even a home Wi-Fi not that uh, secure. So that is one aspect which is actually challenging. Second aspect which is challenging is the supply chain. Third thing is IoT devices. Everything is getting connected nowadays. Everybody is working on connected devices. This can be like GPS tracker, it can be for geofencing, it can be for anti-theft device, anything. But the thing is that they all carry data and they have no protection. right? And when we come back to phishing, the AI and deep fake I think that can be actually a real challenge in terms of phishing. So in, if you mix the technology uh, with phishing activities, it's actually impossible to catch now. I think deep fake is another beast in itself. We need probably one full day to discuss. I just want to share two tips. You know, on the banking fraud aspect, we've dealt with many QR code frauds also, especially payment apps. Everybody uses payment apps these days, right? So uh, two things, one is uh, that in every uh, transaction, like you, when you are using a credit card, for example, you have now the facility to actually put a daily transaction limit by going to your net banking. There's a scroll bar. You can minimize your daily transaction limit domestic as well as international or online. So that is the best way. So you can keep that to a minimum. And number two, uh, the attached account. When you're adding your account in a payment app, be it any app, you can just keep that account uh, attached which has a minimum balance, maybe just 10,000 rupees for your daily needs, you know, whatever. It shouldn't be exposing your main saving account or your current account. That is my, uh, you know, this is one, two things which I am really uh, <coughs> emphasizing because it has helped prevent okay. a lot of these frauds. So that's I just for just adding on that, I will also say that, and this has been, I've been very advocating that try to do all your transactions through credit card. Because in credit card, you have the facility of disputing the transaction post the transaction has happened. In debit card, the money will go from your account and you'll have to fight for it. In debt credit card, you can go back to the merchant and do dispute it and they will hold it for you. So, so thank you, Sunjali. Actually, I cut my debit card the way I made it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. So so I think we are hold, we got 11 minutes before between you and the lunch. So we'll open the, uh, to the floor uh, for the questions. Yeah. I have, I, have, I have one question before even.